How's it going? This is Shane Thomas, ready to show you another country classic on acoustic guitar. This time, this video, we are going to learn Forever and Ever Amen by Randy Travis. Before we get going, though, if you want to learn how to play the acoustic guitar in a bunch of country songs, I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get all the latest lessons and guitar tutorials as soon as I publish them. All right, so Forever and Ever Amen. It was a 1987 country song of the year for Randy Travis. Spent three weeks at number one for Randy Travis. And it was written by Paul Overstreet and Don Schlitz. Now, if you don't know, these two are some of the best songwriters ever in country music. On their own, they wrote tons of hits. Uh, but when they collaborated, they wrote just as many hits and these wonderful country classics that we know today. Don Schlitz wrote The Gambler, uh, Paul Overstreet, long, come from a long line of love, um, wrote for the Forster Sisters, I Fell in Love Again Last Night. All of these songs I'm going to be putting out future videos, tutorials on. Uh, but when they teamed up, my gosh, they wrote When You Say Nothing at All for Keith Whitley. Later, uh, Allison Krauss did it. So it's only natural when two powerhouse, it's like superheroes, superhero songwriters, when these two with this much talent combine forces, you're going to get a hit and a song like Forever and Ever, Amen. It's a fairly simple song, about five chords all together, but the majority of the, the song is just four chords, which I'll show you, and I'll show you the strumming pattern. It's in the key of D. And like most country songs, the structure is intro, verse one, chorus, verse two, repeat chorus, and it kind of ends. And I'll show you how to end it here a little bit. Before we get to that part, though, let's start with that first verse. So the D chord is the first chord you want to learn. You put your middle finger on the second fret, first string, skip a string. So on the third string, press down with your first finger. Then put that ring finger in between on the second string, third fret. And strum down with the fourth string on down. Now the next chord you're going to learn is the G chord. The G chord is sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret. Play the second, third, and fourth string open. And then press down on the third fret of the first string. And for all these chord shapes uh, and fingerings to the chords. Check out the chord diagrams there. Help you out. So, so far we got this. D, G. Now, a strumming pattern is basically just a bunch of down strokes, in my opinion. Some will throw an up stroke in there, but I think it's mainly just that's just, just me kind of And then just play along with the record, get a little feel for it. Don't get too hung up on the strumming patterns. They'll come to you if you listen to the, the records, the recordings. You'll, you'll figure it out. It's a lot of it has to do with feeling and changing the chord positions at the right time. So here, so far, here's what we got. Ready? You may D, you may think that I'm G, talking foolish. Back to D, you back to G, wonder. How I can promise you now. So, so far, all we did was D and G, back to D, back to G. But at after he says, you may wonder how I can promise you now. Now, new chord. This love that I feel for you. That's an E chord. So E is basically third string, first fret. Press down with that first finger. On the fifth and fourth string, put your second or your middle finger and ring finger on those strings. Strum the whole, whole six strings. This love that I feel for you. And now, if you want to play an A, I'll put the A chord shape there. And that basically an A is your second, third, and fourth string on the first or on the second fret. Play the first string open and the fifth string open. Now, but 
If you want to sound more like the record, probably play an A7. And A7 is basically an A, but you leave off, you play the third string open. So it's basically like that. I know it's probably hard to see right there. But instead of pressing down on the second, third, and fourth string of the second fret, you basically press down on the second string and fourth string, second fret, but leave the third string open. And that's an A7. That probably to your ear is going to sound more like the record, but if you played just an A, I think, nobody's gonna probably know the difference too much and be like oh you played that wrong i doubt if you'll get that so so far here's what we got so let's start from the top d you may think that i'm talking foolish so d and g heard that i'm wild and i'm free back to d you may wonder how i can promise you now now we're gonna go to e this love that i feel you all ways down to A7 or A will be back to D but you're just not you're not just time that I'm killing I'm no longer one of those guys just D and G this love that I give is now the E is gonna be yours until the day that I die so, oh baby, now we're getting ready to go into the chorus. Before we do, though, let, let's put a bow on these verses. These verses are basically D and G, D and G, back and forth, until you get to the E. Now, when you go to the E chord, you want to, in your mind, be like, I know what's following. The A. The A's always, for this song, is always going to follow the D. Or basically the A7 is going to follow the E chord. Excuse me if I said D chord. So basically D, G, D, G. Eventually, do, 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 do. So I'm at E. I know that the next chord always for this song is going to be A7 or A. Then just repeat that pattern. You're just not time that I'm killing. Guys. So just that same pattern until we get to to the day that I die. Oh baby. Now here's our chorus. And remember, we if we get the chords to the chorus, we pretty much got the whole song because verse two, verse two is the same chords as verse one is, just different words. And ver in the chorus that I'm getting ready to show you, you just repeat that. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna love you forever, same course, forever and ever, amen. As long as old men sit and talk about the weather, as long as old women sit and talk about old men. All right, did you notice anything? It's the same exact chords. No matter the verse, no matter the chorus, it's the very same exact chords. D, G, E, A7. If you wonder how long I'll be faithful, it's just like the verse. D, I'm gonna love you. So it's basically the same kind of chords. So I'm gonna love you. So that's G, A, or A7, I'm gonna love you forever and ever, forever and ever, amen. And then you got like a little dobro solo, and then a little bitty dobro so it don't last long at all. Then you start with verse two, basically. They say it's time takes its toll on a body, D and G. Makes a young girl's brown hair turn gray. Love is loud, honey, I don't care. I ain't in love with your hair. Now we're going to E. If it all fell out, I'd love you anyway. They say time plays tricks on a memory. So D and G, remember. 
Makes people forget things they knew Gee, it's happening to me Already E, forgotten Remember what comes after E, A7 Repeat chords I'm gonna love you forever Yeah Talk about the weather, E. Sit in E7. Talk about old men. If you wonder how long I'll be faithful, D and G. E. I'm gonna love you, G and A, forever and ever, forever and ever, Amen. Now. So basically, and you just kind of keep going with that until the very end, I'm gonna love you, G and A, forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. Now they throw in at the very end, they throw in that fifth and final chord, that's a B minor. B minor is second fret. You basically put your finger on all the strings besides the sixth string. Put your middle finger on the second string, third fret, your fourth and so ring finger and fifth finger, your pinky on the third and fourth strings, and that's a B minor. So I'm gonna love you for D, G, forever, E, and ever, A7, forever, now B minor, forever. Amen. Then you just go back to D. And that's how you play forever and ever. Amen. I need to work on my Randy Travis. I can't get that. Forever. Amen. Good luck with that, Shane. Good, good luck trying to match Randy Travis's voice. Oh, love his voice. Love his singing. That's how you play forever and ever. Amen. Now, it's very simple. Let's recap. You just got intro, verse one, chorus, re, uh, verse two, repeat chorus. And you kind of, that addition of the B minor. So your five chords of the song is D, G, E major, and then A7. If you really want to get technical and play it kind of exactly right, A A7. If not, just play the A. And at the very end, you got the B minor as we were wrapping up that section. <laughs> Woo! A lot of rotations there, a lot of chord changes at the very end. And that's how you play it. And that's a classic country song written by Don Schlitz, Paul Overstreet, performed by the phenomenal Randy Travis that that just you just i love the song i love the message i love the wittiness of the the old men watching the weather and the old women watching the old men i love all that stuff uh just so witty and so many good lyrics and lines in this song and it's such a positive song about love that hopefully a lot of people listen and and uh and get a lot out of so that's how you play it if you want to learn how to play more country songs and learn how to play the acoustic guitar go ahead and hit that subscribe button that notification bell if you have some request songs that you want to hear go ahead leave them in the comments below and i'm gonna get to them i'll show you how to play them until next time keep humming and strumming strumming and humming you all take care. I'm gonna love.